Hey Hello. everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the Spive Game SNES Relay for this uh, Animania Super Week Marathon. Obviously, uh, we got five different games for you and a whole bunch of different runners. This this is our second time doing this. This is our second time doing multiple teams relay. Uh, yeah, the first time was about two years ago, and we only did three games in. It was Mario World, uh, A Link to the Past, and Super Metroid. Uh, this time around, those three games are returning, uh, but also added to the mix are Mega Man X and Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise. Uh, so each game has its st um, standard rule sets, um, with the exception of this. Uh, this rule set is going to be beat uh, all castles, because um, all runners agree that all castles would be the best, um, figured it would be like the most fun uh, category for a race. And once, and also we got a rotating uh, smorgasbord commentators. Starting off, we have... You want to introduce yourselves? Sure, I'm Rex Raoul. I'm here, uh, and I think I'm joined by Siberian. Guys, Siberian uh, Bull. Guys yeah. So, uh, yeah, some of us are going to be coming in and out uh, as the relay is going. And some of us are going to be running the relay as well. Uh, so it's going to be a fun time uh, as with this rotating crew. Um, so it's going to be a fun time. Eight hours of Team Relay Rando. And, and I'm excited. Intro and introducing the yellow team, Shady Force, running Super Metro or Super Mario World. Uh, um, blue team is being ran by W. Carrick, and red team is being ran by Xander. We really don't have the cars on screen, but it doesn't matter because each, um, because well, each corner represents one team, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Yeah, for our sanities, we might start referring to them as upper left, bottom left, and upper right teams. But uh, the, the teams are still going to be going through it. Uh, Super Mario World is first, and then uh, next after that, we're going to see some Super Metroid. So uh, the runners are going to definitely try to do their best to get through all these castles in Super Mario World as quickly as possible. I rolled the seed, so maybe expect some trolling, maybe, maybe expect some goofiness. But most You'll importantly, see. all castles are getting destroyed. Yes. Where those castles be? Find out soon enough. In the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Anyway, I'm going to dunk out and let you all uh, start the commentary here. And start the countdown for these runners. So good luck, everyone. Yep. I'll let the I'll let the runners know. Yeah, I'll let the runners know. All right, our runners are going to be getting the the go ahead very shortly here, so we're just waiting for them to get started, uh, and then we will be off to the races in this mega marathon uh, relay race that we've got here. Three, two, one, go! Alright, so at least the runners got their green light. Um, obviously, they're going to start on Yoshi Island, but, you know, the places are actually named differently, and all the uh, stages are going to be random, so we don't know what stage we're going to see first when we uh, land on it. And the physics are going to be randomized a bit, too. So there could be a lot more ice physics than you might be used to in this sort of game, too. Or some of these stages might, so, might also get water physics in them, so they might be swimming. Well, there's a castle. Just watch, it's gonna be the vanilla castle. Well, there's always that possibility. Going to the left... Okay, I can understand the logic behind this, but... Wouldn't you think it might be a bit of a waste of time? Because, like, 
Because once you exit uh, Yoshi's Island, you can just see uh, what's uh, in the uh, vanilla yellow switch um, location. I think the one interesting thing of our the flags we got here is uh, we don't know how some of these exits are going to work as what we would normally see as a key as a keyhole exit. Uh, you may have to just beat beat the uh, level normally to exit the stage. Uh, luckily, the uh, looks like the regular exit works here, so we're going to see what's in that up at that switch palace thing, and we've got oh. the Star War. Oh. 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 Looks like Xander's opting oh. no. Uh, Shady Force is going to go into the stage, and Carrick is also opting to say no. Yeah, I, I, this is something, depending on the placement of the castles in the world, this could be a, a, a big play, but it could also just be uh, a waste of time. This is a gamble that you that in a race sort of like this. He's because he wants to see where all these stuff. Oh wow! <laughs> it's right next to Bowser's castle. Yeah, well, I mean, if this wasn't a uh, all, all castles race, that would be huge. All right, looks like we're getting a bit of the taste of the water physics here for uh, Shady Force in a rather normal water level. <laughs> Those big oh, old god, moles, that's uh, terrible. Those big old moles doing a number on Xander there it takes an unfortunate death, but right back in there. So looks like we're going to have both Carrick and Xander following the same path where uh, Shady Forest decided he's going to go on his own trip. Yeah, I think it's going to be really interesting to, to see where the uh, runners decide to uh, diverge their paths on the strategy. It's also a little weapons uh, randomization, as uh, I don't recall there being a hammer, hammer uh, being available as a weapon in uh, the vanilla game. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> why not, right? Uh, I do miss the suit, though. Yeah, the shell in Super Mario 3 was pretty helpful sometimes. Always glad to pick up that block to increase the swim speed there on Shady Forest's screen. Yeah, but now that it's gone, he's going to have to angle these hammers to avoid the uh, enemies below. Gonna pick up the key. Gonna go through the exit. Let's see what where that happens. Oh, all right. Well, looks like he's done here, and he's going to be uh, falling behind uh, both Xander and Carrick here. Yeah, these uh, early Yoshi Island stages proving to be quite difficult. I mean, this uh, this is the funky randomization, uh, random enemies and everything like that. These are a lot more dangerous than the vanilla worlds. And you're seeing there is just a few more deaths uh, coming through. Uh, this is not... Uh, uh, not your grandma's uh, Super Mario World. No, not whatsoever. Uh, looks like we're getting all the water levels in uh, Dinosaur Land. And Shady Force taking another death. Uh, Jedeb, uh, in the what other games in the relay? We'll have Super Metroid uh, following this. And then after that, it's going to be Mega Man X, Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise, and A Link to the Past. So this relay is going to be going on for quite a while. Uh, the overall uh, estimate when I was... is eight hours, but you know, it could be less than that, but yeah. uh, we'll see. Trying to be careful of the moles uh, down below. Just trying. To... <laughs> uh, if only I had a Yoshi for that. Those wings. Uh, meanwhile, Carrick has reached the first castle. <laughs> this is an unusual those... room for the for the water physics center. <laughs> yeah. 
unusual, but I would say it's pretty great because you don't have to do any climbing. Just swim all the way up. Those pokies uh, proving a real problem over on Xander's screen, just blocking the path completely. You have to be able to tank a hit to get through them, but Xander does so and uh, uh, makes it to the next world. Yeah, and because of that, it looks like Shady Force has caught up to him a little bit after uh, taking a peek at the Star Road. Meanwhile, uh, I believe that was Morton, if I'm not mistaken. I think it well, was either Morton or Roy. <laughs> I get my Koopalings mixed up from time to time. I, I do too, but I didn't see any sun, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that was Morton. Ooh, but that's, this... one, but that's one castle down for Carrick. And uh, Shady able to fly over those pokies that are blocking the path with that cape. So that's if you're if you've got that available to you, that's a way to get through there. So uh, going to be just a little bit behind Xander uh, in the world, but um, but Carrick with that first with Roy's castle down, that's pretty good. We're up to the uh, the donut plains. Yep. Now here's <laughs> looks like we got water and ice physics here, <laughs> um, but hey, this is where uh, our uh, secret pass may be different. We're going to pick up a key and either take us up in further into the lake or it might end up taking us to the left. We don't. We won't know until uh, Carrick exits the stage. And then after that, it's going to be a question of which path you want to go. And is it going to be worth it to try to figure out um, what stage is there and go back and redo a stage or are you just going to hope that the path that you choose is the right one? All right. Uh... Well, Xander making it through Roy's castle here is going to have to swim up in this room and then defeat the Koopaling. Shady horse is going to be right on his tail. Oh, and there's the right there in the lava. Nimbly avoiding the lava while picking up that key. Good play there by Carrick. Thank goodness for water physics. <laughs> yeah, that would be very difficult without the water physics. All right, so let's see which direct <laughs> is right at the exit too. Let's see where the keyhole takes us. Uh, into the water, doing a quick scan of the the map okay. to figure out what's going where. Not a bad idea at this point in time. There was two capsules of castles that you saw up top of the mountain there. We get some more ice physics here in Carrick's next stage. Uh, if only, if only he had more water physics. Yeah, this stage is definitely one that the water physics would be um, would be welcome. Any of the stages with the big vertical climbs, uh, the water just makes that the platforming so much easier. Uh, like uh, Carrick wanted to take the Yoshi with him, but uh, the stage is not going to allow him to. So goodbye, Yoshi. Now, we'll, we'll see if either Xander or Shady Force decides to not take the key route and go through the main entrance, which will lead to the left here. Well, one thing that's for certain is right now Xander did not pick up Yoshi, so we'll see if he ups to, uh, when he sees that key, if he's going to drop that turtle shell, because he's using it to uh, swim faster right. through this level. And there's the key. Or there's a key. Um, another thing we just saw on W. Carrick's screen is with Ceranomizer, some of the rotating platforms can be spinning uh, like that, out of control. Uh, this also affects the uh, the Resnor boss. 
Yeah, these are some fast platforms and some slow platforms. You know, you never know what you're going to get when you got these randomizers going. At least there's no flying cheap cheeps to uh, take them out. Alexander is going to go through the pipe there. Uh, and Shady Force is taking the keyhole. And Carrick. we got to the zone, and there's two more castles right there, so we know where four more of our castles are. That'll yeah, that's a, that's a good find. It, but it looks like that may be the route that most of the runners go. Um, so I, I don't think this is going to end up being like the X Factor, but it's still a good piece of mind to find. No, but so right now that would clearly give uh, the blue, the uh, top right blue team, a uh, an advantage in the early going here. And Xander is just behind Carrick now. Uh, has been, that's, took a couple uh, a couple deaths early, but now just one stage behind. So that's pretty good positioning. Uh, that's going to be pretty nice for um, finding these uh, couple of castles up here in the uh, in the uh, the bonus world. Or... And it's essentially the runners are essentially two stages behind as uh, Xander's a stage behind Carrick and Shady Force is behind. Xander, so we're talking two stages at least. Yeah, yeah, two two stages for for Shady for sure. Yeah. But looks like uh, okay. I thought for a second that Xander had uh, ooh and Shady floating to his doom there. Yeah, that's always unfortunate in a situation like this. When you're in a race, any one of these, especially when you've gone through almost the entire stage as Shady did, to have to go through it again is just uh, really disheartening, but hopefully you'll be able to make it up. Eric making use of that cape and flying over most of the dangers in this stage uh, gets another one down. That's very nice. That cape is a, a real useful tool throughout this uh, throughout this uh, game to get through stages uh, without having to deal with a whole lot of con uh, complications. Yes, yeah, Xander's trying to get his speed up so then he actually fly. Uh, meanwhile, Carrick got sniped by a piranha plant. He's got to get his speed back for to fly through this stage. And we see a couple Luigi's soaring through the sky. That's free Mario. And the game uh, reminding Carrick that he's a super player. He's okay at best. Alright, so Xander's now starting the level that Carrick was just on, and Shady Force is behind them still. And looks like we're gonna go into Larry's Cavern for our next castle here. We'll see who uh, is in this castle. Ooh. Those That's Koopas, good. not uh, not kind to Carrick there. So Carrick's going back to try and uh, farm uh, another cape, and this gives uh, the red team a slight lead right now. That just goes to show how powerful that cape is. The fact that you're losing it, you're going and replaying the beginning of this stage twice 
just to get that cape again before trying the uh, the fortress one more time. Oh, and Xander fell for the same thing, trying to avoid those prepare troopers. Yeah, those uh, paratroopers really wreaking havoc here. But luckily, uh, Xander had another keep in reserve, so now they're back about even. Uh, Carrick not able to get a uh, a cape, but does have the fire flower. Going to take the slower route through here by using the moving platform. Well, Car while Xander has made it past that first part, uh, now we've got the spikes. Gets through that and looks to be uh, progressing really well in this castle. Yeah, of course, it's now done with the level prior to this capsule, castle, 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 uh, and be starting it himself. Uh, looks like we got us uh, Iggy here. Oh, I think that was only two hits on this one, so that was a real, uh, real nice, easy boss. Uh, as Xander uh, uh, firmly ahead with a second. Uh, castle completed. Yeah, meanwhile, Shade of Force is right on uh, Carrick's tail with that cape, with the cape strats. Yeah, this is this has uh, been a very close race so far in the early goings. Which is what we like to see. <laughs> yeah, I think in the early going here, you can just stay on one audio and we'll go from there. All right, so that's two castles down for the red team and the blue team and the yellow team. Looks like Xander looking to farm a power up as well. I just like to know that uh, earlier, Shady, I think it was Shady Force that actually went to the Star World and then dipped out. Well, he, he went so to they, the. Yeah, because they were, uh, they caught up very well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Shady has been playing really well, despite the fact that dipping into that Star World when everybody else just uh, dipped out real quick. So. Both him, and, or Shady Force and Xander are going to be on the same stage now, uh, but Shady's going to have that cape advantage and it's going to be able to ignore. Uh, the majority of the stage without stopping. As long as uh, an Aaron Paracoupa doesn't uh, snipe him, but it looks like he's been able to avoid that so far. Oh, they flopped on the top of uh, one of the cliffs there, so he's got to slow down a bit. Carrick now into the third castle. Oh, they're all into their third castle now. Uh, speaking of speed, oof. Wow. Ooh, Shady just navigating through that first part with ease. That was that was some impressive playing, making use of the the uh, smash into the ground to get rid of some of the uh, the enemies and just narrowly avoiding the uh, the ball and chains. Well one played. Ball, that one ball and chain at the end there is out of control. There we go. And now Carrick taking his time to get through there. Looks like Wendy in this uh, in this castle. And, uh, Shady Force is trying to be careful. There we go. There is Wendy. He's trying to make sure he doesn't accidentally die while at the end of this castle. Get that uh, backup power up. Let's see if they go into the fort here. That's at the end of the special road uh, to before uh, doing anything else. Yeah, that would be an interesting call. Um, I believe with the randomizer, we're not sure where it's gonna. Is that still going to send you right back to the beginning, or is it gonna? Could it send you anywhere? 
That's a good question, actually. I'd assume to send you back to Yoshi's Island just with the, uh, the new pallets and stuff, but there is no guarantee. Well, the one thing they do need to do is they need to go through the mountain to get to the top because there are two castles waiting for them there. Well, it doesn't look like Shady has any interest in completing that fort. And neither does Xander, so it, it might just go back to Yoshi's Island, and I don't think the runners need that at this point in time. Nope. Looks like uh, Shady is going to do this level again and go for the other exit to enter the pipe to get to the end of Donut Plains. Whereas Xander is going to the uh, the first stage and going to go through the other exit in that uh, stage, which would be the regular exit. We saw the key exit already. Yeah, the key exit, key exit got us to the special road where there were two castles waiting for us. So it'll be interesting to see what happens uh, going forward here now as our runners take uh, divergent paths again. It's for a good cause. Looks like there's a fort, and looks like Shady Force is going to take a look at that fort. Shady proceeding with caution through this forest. These hopping Bowser statues took away the cape, but still going through it. Now, I just want to quickly note here, Xander is doing that stage that uh, Shady Force was just on. So he'll be taking a look at this fort too, maybe. Also, Carrick just saw that fort, and it looks like he's wondering whether or not he should do it, too. Looks like all our runners is opting to do this fort. Should we know right now, Shady Force does not have any power-ups, so he's gonna, gonna take it a bit slow as he makes it through. Uh, the, our other... Two runners at least have a power up on. Uh, Xander has a backup mushroom if he gets hit. And these uh, these uh, hopping Bowser statues have been very nasty to the runners so far. And there's a fast Resner. There we go. Shady Force, the first one out of this fort. We'll and we'll see uh, the ghost house that's at the other end of this pipe. Even the pot is getting pushed around by these uh, giant spikes. <laughs> looks like Xander's had enough of that for it, said, so you know what? <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> doesn't want any piece of that. That is a, that, and I can't blame anybody. That seems to be a very difficult uh, fort. Uh, looks like. Oh, wow. just needed the power up. That I mean, that that also makes sense too. Uh, meanwhile, Carrick finished that fort, and uh, Shady Force is now on to the level prior to that ghost house. Oof! But can't fit through the big mole there. Yeah, it seems like. Uh... With everybody basically taking the same route at this point, uh, Shady may have taken the lead, and um, a couple castles ago he was in third place, so this has been a real good catch-up game that he's been making. Oh, an unfortunate game over from Xander here. Um, I think the most recent save was in the special world, yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, he knows what's uh, in the pipe, what's wait for him at the pipe, so he may change up what direction he ends up going in.
Shady now being a little bit more mindful of these big moles. There are a lot of them, and they are not easy to get around. Ooh. He's, a. Uh... Oof, and he had just enough iframes to get past that chuck. Yeah, those chucks were not to be cooperative. Um... There is the block to get the, to get the uh, mushroom at the at the end, though. Some uh, sinkage going on here, as all three in front of us just finished the stage. Oh, this level. And we get to see a lot of spin jumping up on Sanders' screen. Now, this is, again, one of those levels where you got two exits on them. So we'll see uh, if he opts to go straight to the end or if he's going to try and find the key and go back up for the keyhole. But it looks like I think he's going straight to the uh, end. I can totally respect that decision because in this sort of stage, I think you just want to get through it fast. You don't want to do a hunt and then have to fly around and jump around. Uh, just do what you can, and hopefully it's going to lead the right way. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Kara continues to, sh to shadow Shady Force. This uh, appears to be a uh, ice physics ghost house. Uh, looks like we got a, a power block to uh, set up here. Let's see which one it is. It's the green uh, switch. So those green blocks that were uh, not visible are now going to be visible. Okay, it looks like um, Xander going back in that stage is going to look for that key this time. So the main thing is getting this cape that's on the left side. That way you can fly your way back up, but we got to find the key first. And Shady Force trying to do a shell jump there. Unfortunately, he pays for it uh, with that death. Ooh, he's, Xander's got the key. Now it has to go back up to where the keyhole is. Meanwhile, uh, Carrick finishes the ghost house, so he'll, he'll be on his way into the dome area. And here we go with those diverging paths. We'll have to, we'll have to figure out uh, how to get to the left side in order to get to the top of the mountain, as that's where we need to go to get to the next two castles. It also be noted that, uh, you know, sometimes these uh, multicolored Goombas, or, or Koopa Troopas, give Yoshi special abilities. Um, in the randomizer, uh, not so much. So, for instance, uh, Yoshi here had swallowed a yellow Koopa Troopa, and usually if he, as Yoshi is holding on to it, he stomps the ground. Not so much in this in this uh, particular seat, it looks like. Yeah, all those uh, Yoshi abilities are random, are part of the randomized logic here. Um, one th Another thing to note here, Xander might appear to be a little bit behind because uh, of going that other route after that death. Uh, but if any of the stages like have a lot of the green switch blocks, they could be a lot easier for Xander to complete than anybody else. So that may come into play. Now, it should be noted that uh, Carrick's going through the level again. He had finished it, but he's going to have to find the key and put it in the lock to go to the left side to get to uh, the castle. 
yeah, very important to like scout out where those castles are, and knowing that you have to get to that left side. Uh, Carrick making sure that we're going that route. And has got the key and the keyhole, so... Should be on the right path now. Also ripped Yoshi. Yeah, well, that's that. unfortunately a casualty here in this race. Looks uh, like Carrick is coming back in a third time. Probably trying to grab that, grab that Yoshi before moving on. Yep. Uh, meanwhile, Shady Force is not going to be compelled to that. He's going to be right behind him into this level here, which is also underwater. Uh, one of the Star World stages uh, here in the mountain. It's surprising to see that both our runners is opting to stay on Yoshi instead of, uh, let's say, for instance, uh, jump on a Koopa here and just float through the stage for extra speed. I think that just goes to show in this randomizer how important the safety of the Yoshi is and just wanting to keep that for the next stage after it. Uh, speaking, of, and speaking of which, we might have an interesting lead change here. We'll see what happens. Yeah, one of them is going to be right, one of them is going to be wrong. <laughs> Oh, and it looks like Shady Force has taken the lead as he definitely chose the right exit. Yeah, no need to go into the Star Road there. Meanwhile, uh, Xander, not to dismiss him, has now entered the dome area. Yeah, and uh, hopefully, uh, in order to help get back into this uh, race a, a little bit uh, to make up some time. Hopefully he'll be able to take the choice of the key exit first instead of the main exit, but looks like he's flying over everything. He's probably going for the main exit first. I don't think I could blame runners uh, as someone who doesn't run this to go straight to the end first, just to see what happens. Like, whichever exits uh, the fastest get to, I should say. Well, goodbye, Yoshi. We're going to be flying through this stage. <laughs> yeah, now, now it, it just makes you think like, oh man, I just wish I would have uh, taken the fast swim option. Which I, I, I Honestly, I just wish we had a Yoshi counter <laughs> for how many Yoshis <laughs> we abandoned. We see Shady in one of the uh, castles up here. I think this ended up being a relatively easy castle compared to what we've seen so far. And we've got Ludwig von Koopa here. Uh, Agathor asking, do they, are they doing egg, every exit or first to Bowser? We're doing all castles in this one. Yep, so dude. not all exits, but all castles are required. All castles. And this is actually our fifth castle right here to keep us up to date. We found um, one, that first one on uh, Yoshi's Island. And then we found two on the special road. Uh, the next two are pretty much right here at the top of the Dome Mountain. So this is the first one, and the second one will be actually in a vanilla location for one of the castles. Uh, there is one thing I want to note real quickly, is that there are no castles at all in the Valley of Bowser, right? Yeah, we saw the runner's peak at that, and there weren't any castles down there. Exactly, but... Um, cause Carrie, uh, sorry, no, Shady Forest, cause he went into the Star World and he found the end of the Belly of Bowser. So he can, after he finishes the last castle, he can take the Star Warp from, um, uh, from Yoshi's Island and go directly to Bowser that way. Depending on where that last, uh, the, the last castles that we need to find still are, uh, that might be 
a, a really heads up play and that's really something that only shady force has available but because the other two runners didn't do that star road road check now we should take note here we actually did a map check um and the map doesn't allow us to see what's inside uh the wooden area so we there's probably a good chance one of our castles is in there that is yeah that is right uh but the last castle um, on the linear route would be uh, in the vanilla sunken ship area. And if you're going from sunken ship, I guess it still is probably faster to walk all the way back to the Star Road over on in Yoshi's Island and to do the stages after that. Force giving me a heart attack there. <laughs> I think Mario's got to get dizzy from uh, <laughs> from flying in in the uh, spin jump sort of formation there. And now it just looks like the shady force is showing off. Uh, something tells me that Shady Force may have played this game once or twice. Probably. And, and, and as someone who doesn't run this regularly, I, I'm just assuming he was using he was do he do, does that to keep uh, top speed. Yeah. But it's also fun to watch. <laughs> Mostly fun to watch. got a request from chat to rename the Vanilla Dome to the Cinnamon District. It's tough. I like Vanilla, but I like Cinnamon, too. So I think I'm on board with either name. As long as we can keep the donut planes, that's pretty important to me. I just ate well, and just... I'm hungry. Just uh, rename planes, as in planes, as in like aeroplane. Or a plane of wood, if you will. Shady Any course. type of plane that isn't grass planes. Alright, here's the mad dash from Shady Force. Uh, that's, uh. Iggy? I believe? Larry, I think. The first Larry, right? whoever, the, whoever Castle One is. Oh, wait, it might be Iggy. I, I Larry think Larry was Iggy. Vanilla. Larry is in uh, Bowser's cast or Bowser's cavern, right? The only reason I say it, say it was Iggy is because they close the glasses. That's about it. Ah, uh, yes. Iggy does require corrective lenses. <laughs> well, that's what you get with the randomized text. Yeah, it's like randomizer. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure this is just like vanilla. I'm like 99% sure of that. Yeah, this is the exact same game that I played on my Super Nintendo as a kid. Alright, so the weird part about going through these woods is it's all, well, wooded off. So we won't know if there are any castles here until we open up that spot in the woods here. So uh, prepare for a long visit. And they don't call it the force of illusion for nothing. Shady Force trying to open up a path so he can get his Yoshi through, but I don't think that's going to be uh, the case here. I think he was just trying to make sure all the enemies were gone so that he could bring Yoshi out and then make this Yoshi jump up here. That makes sense. But uh, I will say this, Carrick just did it much faster. 
Yeah, I, something might have, uh, like there might have been a, a, a miss time jump or something like that that put him into the middle of all those blocks and then he had to figure out a way out of it. But they're both going oh. the same route so far. Yeah, so this is an easy place that where, uh, even though Shady Force got in here first, he could probably easily just lose the lead here if he takes a wrong exit. And there's our key. I think Shady Force is saying, like, do I really want this? All right, I'll take it. I think so far the keys have been pretty kind to the runners. Like if you if you're playing on superstition, I might want to err on the side of keys. I can think of one level so far uh, where the keys was not required, and it cost a uh, character to lead for a little bit here. And it looks like we are now at a half circle in the forest of illusion. I feel like that was intentional. <laughs> nope. That was simply a missed time jump because it goes back in. Of course, I don't think I would blame him for not wanting to uh, do this level. It's a bit of an annoying stage. Let's be real, a lot of the, the levels can be somewhat annoying. These uh, bubble enemies make jumping a bit rough, so the platforming you've got to do has got to be really well-timed if you want to keep your momentum going. Well, if we had a cake, that would certainly make it easier, but uh, we don't have the moment. Oof, almost losing his Yoshi, but he picks Ooh. it right back up before going through the uh, pole there. Yeah, that was uh, that was clutch. And it looks like uh, Xander is having the same issue that uh, Shady Forest did a few moments ago. I really don't want to pick up this Goomba. Again, he's trying again. The same thing with Shady Force is he was trying to uh, get his Yoshi in between, but now he's just outright stuck. There he goes. Now he's good. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I wasn't paying attention. I, did Shady Force enter another castle, or is this a uh, uh, fort? Oh, I missed the entrance too. I th this I think is a fort. Okay, thanks. For yeah, chat. Chance is this a fort. Yeah, it's a fort. Thanks, chat. You were great. More Trent Resners. The really fast Resner. Both in. Uh... Oh, and looks like. Eric found a ghost house, but is deciding to go back oh. in. Probably going to go uh, to that uh, that same fort that right. we saw. Uh, yes. Shady Fort. But we also have the same issue with the Chaco planes here as Shady Force is now entering that. I think uh... Yeah, I'm not sure how the Rando ha has it. I know in like you you can see the castle in the vanilla game from the map, but it could be hidden here. I'm, I'm not quite yeah. sure exactly yeah. how the Rando Well, usually the paths for these are uh, blocked until you defeat a level in the path is uh, revealed, so I imagine it's the same way with castles. So you won't know if the castle's there until the path is revealed.
And Shady decides to release all the uh, para Goombas here. Carrick is opting for the fort next as well, following Shady Force Pass. Meanwhile, uh, Xander had done that, done the second level in the uh, Forest of Illusions and found the red switch, but he's opting not to do it. Shady now in a, uh, this is like almost a vanilla uh, stage, isn't it? Just about. Usually there's be a lot more uh, dinosaurs here, but uh, not this time. If I'm if I'm correct, I believe this it, it, this stage is uh, timed in a sense. Yeah, well, at least it is in the, the vanilla. Well, I guess it would be in this stage, in this too, whether or not you're able to get to the uh, the key. Hey, Carrick's like, come on, give me my cape back. Well, yeah, why there's... wouldn't you want pizza names? Pizza is like <laughs> the best thing ever. Oh, I'm with you there, Nika. <laughs> I mean, I did have pizza before starting uh, our eight-hour relay race here. Which, uh, again, shout-outs to Randomated for hosting us and allowing us to put this on. And shout-outs to uh, Snowbear for sticking out these eight hours of restreaming with us. And it looks like the other... Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's right. One of our castles is right there on the cliff. I forgot about that. Oh, wow. Luckily, Shady didn't <laughs> didn't forget about that. Good thing we're not playing this game. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, water physics! Uh, this would be, like, the worst to get, like, water physics in as well because of how Kamek works. Well, unfortunately, we got this, uh... Well, he had a Koopa shell. And I think he wanted to pick up the PAL block, but, uh, nope. Or maybe not, because he wanted to get through the door. Anyway. Point. These Sparkies here, big and small. And more Bowser statues, and we're at the door already. There we go. There's Larry. Ah, uh, yes. Larry and the Potaboos. Larry the... I couldn't find a better name, so I named him a Larry. <laughs> now, I believe that was Castle 6, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's that's the best of my recollection too. So I got one more they gotta find. Oh, but it's right there in the uh, of sunken course it's in, in the sunken sunken ship area, yep. yeah. which is right on his path. So yeah, Shady Force in good shape right now. Also can go back to uh, the the Yoshi Island and take the Star Road over to. Right over to Bowser's castle as well. And what a level to come to right before it. <laughs> I think tubular just got made harder. 
like I know like a lot of the enemies just like walk off the cliffs cliff cliffs now but uh this does not look any better uh, it's tubular that's why people tend to put this game down uh, have you guys seen the stage in the level editor I have not but do uh, indulge me. Um, right above the screen is actually like a row of pipes, um, so you actually can't cheese the level. <sighs> yep, so no flying into this level. No. Nah. Unless you're like absolutely insane. Uh, navigated by Shady Force to get through Tubular though. And here's our way cool castle. That's uh, castle number seven. I think this has got to be uh, Morgan Cooper, right? I think that's the only one we haven't seen, or is it Roy? It's I've Roy. already got him mixed it's, up again. It's Roy. It's Roy. Roy is our boy, after all. Speak of which, poor Kamek. Double the Kamek, double the fun. We got double Kamek action. Now, it is wor worth noting that one of the, uh, since we're going to be coming up on Bowser's Castle pretty soon here, we do have the gauntlet on, so all rooms in the in Bowser's Castle will be required. Meanwhile, uh, Roy taking all the hits. Hammock locking Xander's path here. Able to get a hit in, too, so unfortunate it's now for Xander, but... Now, Shady Force is, is, I believe, but that being the last castle, if I'm not mistaken, because I can't count, um, is going to be able to use the back door to get into uh, Bowser's castle. Ooh, that's unfortunate. It looks like Carrick missed the, the pea balloon, so I'm going to have to try tubular again. I guess that's not how it works, because here we go, starting the uh, first level uh, in the do Bowser's Domain here. You know, I don't envy any of the runners having, like, this r basically required tubular stage. That's just rude. I think both of these rooms are rude. The tubular stage and the underwater level with that Kamek. Yeah. Keep in mind these seeds were tested as well by one of our other runners. So, like, he knew tubular was required. He's evil, then again, I gave the Super Metroid runners a pretty evil, but not too bad seed. I believe maybe Kid Icarus ended up, uh... ...providing the uh, Mega Man X seed, which I get to run later. Ooh, so that's pretty fun. Uh, our Shady Force just... Inches away from that, uh, that Chuck at the end of the stage. Didn't have the key, though. Oh. 
looks like Shady Force trying to do some ground pounds there to uh, get rid of some of these enemies, but uh, they're completely juking him. Oof. It's RNG manipulation. <laughs> okay, we've got the key now. Just oh, needs yeah. to get through. Yeah. This is all these uh, flying little shellless Koopas are very annoying to try to fly around. I don't think Xander meant to get that P-block stuck there. Or, oh. Ooh, that, oh, oh wings. What the hell? Oh my god. I don't even know what that was, but that was amazing. <laughs> I'm not even mad. That was so cool. He said, nope, I'm not doing this. I'm going <laughs> to cheese it. I'm out of here. Oh my god, Mega has got to see that after he invented this, <laughs> just to make sure there was a required tubular. Yeah, the heck with the required tubular, says Xander. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, uh, Xander's in trouble because he doesn't have a cape to get through this wall. Gotta wait for, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Can't have to open it up the window for him. Yeah, everybody's good old pal chemical uh help you out here. Nobody wants Kamek unless Kamek's around. That's what it looks yeah. like. Um, we'll see if any of these last stages give anybody a, too much of a problem, though. Meanwhile, we are in the castle. So, just a real quick update here as far as who our next runners are going to be. So just just a real idea. Uh, in the bottom left for the yellow team is going to be Swap Space. The top right for the blue team will be Mega Kid Icarus, and the top left is going to be Mock Droid for the red team. And once again, that's going to be for Super Metroid. It's going to be the next game in this relay. Although, uh, with a username like Mocktroid, that makes sense. Do we know who's doing commentary for Super Metroid besides me? Well, I'm gonna stick around anyway Lovely. until it's my turn, so I'm here. Yeah, I get to duck out at that point, but uh, I'll be back for free Enterprise. But I'm still with you for the rest of this, so you gotta, you're stuck with me for a little while. The more the merrier. I feel so bad for putting you through all this now, because of how much fucking organization there has to be. I really had to swear. I should, I should probably, yeah. I just realized. Uh, when you can, just when you That's can. That's Australian just, for you. Yeah. When you can, just drop me a, a link for the tracker, and I'll do my best tracking.
Uh, trackers aren't necessarily needed for Super Metroid or anything that has trackers, but it makes it easier for people who um, pop in later on to just follow along with what's happening. Yep, that's the idea. What? Fortunately, two of the five games don't require a tractor. I assume that um, none of our, none of these, uh, sorry, no, that maybe the next runners will be using um, trackers, I assume, even though it's Super Metroid, you can't really go wrong, <laughs> unless you, like, don't really know the game that well. I can at least yeah. spot the item and know what it is. Did he force into the dark room here? I actually lost track of how many rooms he's been through. Uh, uh, the dark room, it actually means the next room is guaranteed to be Bowser, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there you go. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, hello Xander, he's clipping into the floor again. The absolute madman. Oh, and uh, Carrot getting tackled by the Chucks. Barely missing uh, getting Bowser with the Mecha Cooper there. Just not getting the angle. Yeah, and uh, Bowser just stopping right before. Alright folks, to get those GG's in for Shady, uh, as the yellow team will be on to the next game in our relay here of Super Metroid. Yeah, just got a little bit of finishing up for Carrick and Xander, but they're honestly not that much far behind Shady. This is a very yeah. close race overall. And it was a very uh, solid performance by all of the runners. And we see Swap Space is uh, getting everything set up uh, for the yellow team there. Uh, waiting, we've got uh, it's a three minute delay uh, between the finish of the one runner and the next one. That's why Swap Space hasn't started quite yet. So there's going to be, uh, essentially, we have a three minute in between uh, each races as it gives our uh, restreamer Snowbear time to swap our runners through. 
uh, and then our runners will be able to go from there. All right, meanwhile, Carrick is on their Bowser fight. Yeah, and Xander is uh, running the gauntlet. Now, it is it, the uh, those green switches have actually come into play. Been able, Xander, been able to refill that uh, that cape a few times and it's been really really good to keep um despite a couple of uh deaths early keep very close in this race and doing a very good job is xander uh shady force games now in the uh in the uh, chat shady uh, asking where the green switch was it was in donut plains yes uh, there was a green switch in donut plains and there was a red switch in uh, the Forest of Illusion. Uh, yeah, the red switch was in the uh, blue switch in your area, and the green switch was in top secret area location. Yeah, top secret area. So there we go. Uh, Swap Space actually starting his uh, Super Metroid run. Find a E tank uh, in the, I believe, Morph Ball section. Big GG's for Carrick defeating Bowser, and Xander's going to be really close behind here. Yeah, so we're going to be swapping out Carrick here in a moment for Mega Kid Ekra, so GG's to Carrick. Well, we'll have an idea of what they found if... Uh, Everything is to be believed looking at Swap Space here. He'll give us an early look of what's uh, to come in this seed. Now, for some reason, the runners didn't want like the uh, the fast um, the fast item text box because they're weird. So yeah, we have like seven seconds of um, cutscene, I guess you can say, every time they get an item. Meanwhile, we'll be finding early power bombs uh, for uh, Swap Space. Okay, uh, so, uh, Siberian Bull and Ninka, I'm going to say goodbye for now. I'm going to be back doing commentary for Free Enterprise and possibly A Link to the Past. Um, but I, I need to make sure that I recharge in between now and then so that I can do that well. Uh, you have a good time, and uh, I'll be back before too long. All right, dude. Take care. Uh, all right, so finding early power bombs for... Uh... Swap space and more power bombs. And Spazer. Carrick, meanwhile, finding Spazer in the early going here. Or, I'm sorry, Swap Space. I don't know who's running anymore. <laughs> 